This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think it's am analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I mean, it gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the economy is in trouble, okay? Don't listen to what the, well, not, I'm not telling you don't listen to what the government tells you. Listen to what the government tells you, but do your own analysis. Do your own analysis. Watch the evidence that they're dropping because the evidence they're dropping is contrary to what they're telling us. There's something called an M1 and an M2 money. And I wasn't really familiar with this. You know, this is like an evolving education for me. This is an evolving education for me. I learn more and more every damn day. But the more I learn, the more I see how corrupt this market is, how these bad actors can do whatever they want with no real consequences. But the chickens are coming home to roost, ladies and gentlemen. The M1 and M2 money is the amount of money that's available to be able to be spent very, very quickly. M1 is like checking account, savings account, you know, easy liquid stuff. And M2 is M1 plus like CDs, money markets under 100,000, stuff that might be a little bit more difficult to have access to, but money that you can get at, you know, a real fast. Money that you can access really fast to spend. But guess what? Since it peaked at $21.722 trillion, in April of 2022, at the end of March 2024, it has dropped 4.06%. Okay, and you might think 4.06% is, is minimal. It's nothing. It's only $881 billion. But this has only happened five times since 1870. Okay, this has happened five times since 1870 and the last time this happened the great depression okay the great depression the economy is in deep trouble and since the five times this happened the four prior times they were accompanied by depression and high unemployment so these m1 m2 numbers if you look at historical the historical significance of it is stating that we are going to end up with high unemployment and depression coming soon. The bottom line is this. The economy is in trouble. The bad actors, naked shorting, AMC, GME, and other stocks, their liquidity is running out. And they are going to be forced, in my opinion, to close out their AMC, GME, and other short positions and investors that are long might see the attendees. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. If the M1, M2 money supply is at the worst it's been since the Great Depression, is that a sign that we are going to have an economy that's doing very, very poorly? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.